Hi everybody, and welcome to 2019. How did my 2018 end? Well, there's a lot of good things and a couple of bad things. Um, the bad thing, I slipped in my house and I fell, and um, I have a bad leg now. It's, it's um, quite painful. The experience was extremely horrible and um maybe we'll talk about that another day but right now i ain't ready to talk about it because <sighs> that mental health stigma follows you everywhere i broke my leg the fact that i take any kind of psychiatric medication which by the way because i take them i end up being perfectly sane <gasps> what a concept um, and it was just the same nurse for these, these two different times as well. So, I'm going to go there, but, um, if you need to know, I don't even have any pants on right now. Putting pants on is just too painful. But you don't get to see that, so, um, unless you check over to the Vero, that's my, um, site where I'm a little more free. So, what are we here to talk about? We're here to talk about my medical course Mhm. Mm One of the worst experiences of my life. So, this is one of the things that I'm, I'm doing with No Holds Barred. Um, by the way, No Holds Barred will be one year old in, in a few weeks. Um, I, I personally thank every single one of you. The ones that publicly like, the ones that just keep coming back all the time, whether you like it public, I don't care. Again, I don't care. I understand that the mental health stigma follows you from place to place. Again, I just experienced that at the emergency room for the second time in about two months. And I also understand that sometimes I have um, opinions on the Facebook page that they might not necessarily be the most popular of opinions. But a lot of you do agree with me, um, and you tell me that in private, and that's okay. Again, it's cool. I'm alright with that. So thanks to every one of you that keep coming back, um, whether, you know, you tell the world or not, it doesn't matter. Again, it has actually made No Holds Barred um, quite successful. So thank you. Not even a year in, you know. By the way, the most that I can make a month is 500 and then, you know, because that's, I mean, you're not supposed to get rich on disability, right? But then, how can I afford all this stuff and, and all, all this? It's why I'm sharing with you. If I find something that's got a really good deal, I'm going to share it with you. Why should I reap all the benefits? I'm going to share with all the people out there. Mostly in my neck of the woods, nobody's rich, okay? And if you think someone's rich... They're most probably in debt over their head. Let's just go there. Most people don't have money. Yeah, if I can help all of you out there. Again, I don't publicly talk about the, the inboxes that I get that help people. But I mean, I do post about makeup. Sometimes the thing makes me feel better. Today, pain in my face. And then I get the confidence to, you know, try and do this whole video again. Because that's how I hurt my foot and my leg yesterday. I was all ready to do this. And uh, went out to get some water, you know, get all prepared, slipped on the only two steps I have, and um, shamashed my leg, <laughs> like Safia Nagar would say. So, um, it was very painful, it, was, uh, it still hurts, but try to move on. Go back to the point. Michael Kors smartwatch. One of the reasons I got this is because I don't want to have one of those huge alert buttons. I have a little bit of pride. I'm 36. I'm not ready to look like an old person yet. And this gave me the opportunity to have an app that would work like the Fall Arrest system. Mostly because in this little part of the world, we don't have enough population, we don't have enough of the things where the option to have, like, you know, the medical or, you know, that old. I'm old enough to remember those, help, I've fallen, I can't get up. <laughs> The one that helps you when you leave your house, 
is just now starting to get implemented it doesn't really kind of work because we don't have the population we have enough people um but i want to be as independent as possible so this watch helps me do that it connects to an app that's connected to my phone if i do fall or whatnot you know let certain people know or they get called the watch can talk to me i can talk to it if i've fallen or not so that was one of the big reasons you know to justify the high price no no i did not pay the full price because if you look up these i mean i looked them up and the only place i could find them was amazon and stuff like that and ebay and they're like in the 600 something dollars that that's out of my budget that's totally out of my budget and then i found it for sale on this other website and i'm, I'm not quite ready to share that little tip yet um mostly because again this site itself had no problem the problem was fossil group that represents nickel cores so by the way any kind of luxury smartwatch you're gonna buy out there can be all the way up to armani smartwatches okay anything fossil nickel cores like all those name brands including armani smartwatches they're all made by the fossil group fossil group's a problem in this trust me it's them so i'm going to tell you my experience as a customer with the michael kors warranty because it was horrible and i do not wish it upon my worst enemy and while i was going through it i mean it started off on a great note i didn't want to send that watch back i mean i liked it i use it every day it helps me with so many things it helps me organize it it's my fall alert thing but what happened is that it had um the wear os so wear os is what you have to put on your phone in order for the android watch to work in conjunction with your phone so you can have an iphone and you can still have one of these watches um it, i think it was called android wear before but now it's called wear os so it had an update and when the update came through it, the watch um and it, it wasn't just mine like mine wasn't working very well yeah what it would do is it would sometimes work for a day and then it would just restart all by itself and then sometimes we get stuck in that little loop and that's all it would do. I could not get it out of that little loop until the battery died completely and then I would recharge it and try to reset it all over again. I did that for about a week. Now I tried all the troubleshooting things that I know because guess what? That's my field of study. I went to college. I really did go to college. And I really studied electrical engineering with a concentration in embedded systems and design, which is this stuff. So when it came to knowing that it needed to be fixed, I knew it up. Read the warranty. Let's read the warranty. At first, I was just reading the warranty that was online. I never actually read the one in the little book that you get. And it really has the feel that this watch is something like kind of special because even the little booklet has a nice velvety feel to it i mean it's it's kind of high class but um i quickly learned that warranties in this world don't mean all right let's read this warranty again it's covered for two years and it doesn't cover anything that you did to make it break but here comes the legal jargon that should piss pretty much anybody off. This is a voluntary manufacturer's warranty. So that means that the warranty is something that they are giving their customers out of the goodness of their heart. But it also means that it's not legally binding, which means they do not have to honor the warranty if they don't want to. That's the first line. Should have read that before I started this whole shabacle. And it says, it provides rights separate to the rights provided by consumer law. So that just means that they go above and beyond for the customers that they care about. Um, but not limited to those relating to non-conforming goods. So we're starting to use big words. Those big words just mean what I said earlier. If you do something to break it, if you put a third party part, if you take the band off, for example, and put like a leather band, because it does come with a mental course clasp for a leather band. Um, if you do that on your own, uh, without going to like a certified mental course store, which in my part of the world, there is one, and it's about a five hours drive away in Halifax and another province. I know, I called 
learn this whole thing. Um, so if you do something, if you go in there, if you install a third party app and that app crashes everything, that's still something you did, so it's not covered. That's what those words mean. Not everybody understands those huge words. And um, yes, they purposely put words that people can't understand. That's how the whole legal system works in the entire world. Let's put words in there that purposely confuse people so they have to either pay a lawyer more money than the thing is worth to begin with to get it done, or they'll just give up, which most people give up. Does this still give up? No. I think we learned that by now. And it keeps going. It says, Michael Kors limited warranty benefits are in addition to and not instead of rights provided by the consumer law. All right. So, I only read that after the poem. But, if you look at the online one, it says this. So that one is pretty self-explanatory when you read it, right? That it will replace it to the same thing at no cost if the same one is available. If you do something that was not your fault to make it break. We've already established that. The first call that I did, for them to actually accept fix under warranty, they had they agreed that I had not been the one to break the watch. And when it comes to that, again, I into the electronic stuff so I know how to look up and I looked up to see if it was just my watch no it's a thing across everybody that had Wear OS and the problem actually occurred in they were trying to build a better messaging platform for messages and it just so happens that my brother-in-law also has a fossil smartwatch and his did not crash like mine but his messenger was just going bananas. Every time he would get any kind of message, it would give him like 60 notifications in a row, you know. And, um, stay with me. I've got the solution. It wasn't just me, all right? It was a thing that a lot of people that had smartwatches that had the Wear OS update it happened to. So when I was talking to Michael Kors and I was like, you know, the update messed it up, they, they knew what I was talking about. It wasn't, you know, out of the blue thing that it was gonna happen. What did I do? I sent it in again, it was free, packaged it all, that was great, waited, waited. And about two weeks later, I started getting these emails. The emails were very misleading and very confusing because the address and the, it was a very formal letter and the address in the top had a Toronto, Ontario address. But I knew my watch was in Texas and I was, very confused and to this day well I figured it out as well it's a whole legal thing um, but I got an email saying we can't fix your watch it, it's not fixable it's beyond repair call us so I did and um, you want to see all the notes that I had written so I wrote all these notes and all these notes if you can see those calculations on there because, oh boy, I was mad. So the, I talked to probably over 20 people. And they have caller ID at um, Fossil Group. So they knew it was me calling. Because <clears throat> I would get frustrated with someone. And frustrated isn't even the word. And this is where Canadian companies and American companies, there's a difference. And I didn't know that. I was not in the know that it was the American thing that was the problem. I thought it was mechacores themselves that were assholes to the end. The things I was told were just... I don't understand why someone can get away saying that to someone. Again, I've worked in call centers and I've worked in, you know, solutions and loyalty and whatnot, and they were beyond. Because when I called, they're like, okay, yeah, your watch can be fixed. And they gave me one option. They're like, well, you have to go to this particular website, which is one of our websites, and you can pick whatever watch you want, you know, and we're going to give you a credit for what you originally paid for. And then, you know, if the watch you want, um, you know, is more money, then, then you're going to have to pay for it. I was a little like, um, what? What are you talking about? I have to pay for this? But I kept bringing up the warranty. I was reading it to them. 
And um, so the first person I spoke to was a guy. And um, again, he didn't do the calculations correct. So I bought it, but I bought it on this website. Now this website is based out of Spain. There's a long story about that too. It's from Spain because that's kind of how they get around the Trump terrorists. I hope I'm not giving too much information out there and that it screws this plan up. But anyway, so it's based out of Spain. So I paid in euros on my receipt. I mean, the credit card part, um, which I, I had somebody else's credit card and I paid them back because I don't have one. Um, and so it wasn't euros, but they gave me a credit as in that amount being Canadian money. So I'm looking at all the, the watch options and I'm looking at them and they're like 300 and some dollars more out of pocket for me. And I was like, what? So in the beginning, what they gave me for a credit came to $187.50 US. And all the watches that were available. This is where the scam is happening. And I'm going to call it a scam because that's exactly what it is. For the two weeks that I was so frustrated to the point that I was crying, I was angry, I was yelling at my family because they weren't understanding. Uh, it was rough. Because I didn't understand, like, I paid out of pocket and why, you know, oh, it's complicated, trust me. Every watch that I tried to pick, so I tried to pick, you know, just the replacement, the exact same one that I had. I wasn't in there to, to get rich, you know, I didn't send it in, you know, broken to get, you know, a higher model. And I understood when, you know, the third person that I would like to call Shaquanda, because that was the attitude, you know, I don't want to turn this into, you know, um, a color of your skin thing. The attitude that came back, now I'm Canadian, so all I know of, of American attitudes is what I see on TV. But your typical person named Shaquanda, the long nails, that's what I picture that attitude to be back. Like, ma'am, we're fossil group, we're not medical cores, and that's not our warranty. So they kept telling me. But, I mean, even though they called me ma'am... They were super beyond rude. And then one of them was like, well, we're not going to go out of pocket for you. I was upset at the time because I was frustrated, but I get the point. That's true. So about a week of me calling back and forth every day, being frustrated, trying to move money around to see if I could afford the extra 300 some bucks, it hit me. They didn't do the calculation drawings. They looked at my receipt and figured that I had paid in Canadian. So I called back and said it was in euros. So the way that it was going to work was they were going to send me a gift card and I was going to go on that website, apply the gift card and have to pay the difference. Because again, all the things that I picked that were the same value as the one that I had bought were not available. That's why I call it a scam. The only thing that Fossil Group US, again, I learned later on that there's a difference. We'll get there. Um, that the Fossil Group US were letting me be available was nothing but the brand spanking new models. Every kind of watch. Do you understand why I call it a scam? The warranty, even the fossil warranty, the fossil warranty themselves, because I mean, I had to learn what the fossil warranty was because I was now dealing with the fossil group and not Michael Kors. I couldn't make them understand that they were one and the same because according to Shaquanda and all her other friends of the same type, um, I was a Canadian that, you know, didn't deserve their time, didn't deserve anything, and I should just shut the fuck up and take what I was, like, they were rude. And I know those were most probably all recorded. Was I nice on my end after a while? No. Because they just wouldn't listen, and it's not they wouldn't listen. They were, like, instantly rude. Instantly, like, we're not Michael Kors, so I don't fucking care. Like, shit like that. They didn't, like, swear, but I mean, it... It, there's ways of swearing without actually saying four little words and they were in there and um, It wasn't a fun time. Okay. It wasn't good. The experience was horrible again So I'm talking about it I'm talking about it because I'm not recommending any single watch Ever made by the fossil group because it is horrible to deal with them. It's horrible to deal with them It is not worth the trouble not at all not one bit and it has nothing to do with the fact that I have difficulties explaining it myself and then I get quite upset. Any other normal person, or is there a normal? 
Um, but anybody else out there that would have gone through what I was going through and being told what I was being told would have gotten upset as well. So, yeah, that's why I'm calling it a scam. I was only allowed to, well, the only models available were the latest brand new models, which again, led me to have a difference in price of about 300 and some dollars. So I had two choices at the end. They told me that I had two choices. One, I could pay for them to ship me back the broken watch, which would give me absolutely nothing. Well, kind of, because I'm at, I could technically fix it myself, but that's the point. Or I could take their gift card and pay extra and get a brand new spanking fancy one. I didn't get it. Didn't get it at all. And then I called the Canadian government. We have a very good anti-scam law fraud department with the RCMP that they look over everything. So that's kind of cool in Canada how we have like a national police system that looks over that kind of stuff. And when it comes to warranties, again, warranties are civil things. They're not criminal. And then it did become something that they could investigate and that they do have a case opened because when they would send me their letters, it had an address of Toronto. And that is no longer between two countries. It is uh, so metal cores and fossil. By doing that, you just, just... But am I going to continue the complaint from here? I don't know. Probably not because I don't have the energy to because I got my watch back. But I am going to tell the people how horrible it was. So. so there was that. That was open and I was frustrated. I didn't know how I was going to get it. So either way, I was losing money. If they sent me back the watch and I had to pay for the shipping, I was going to get a broken watch. So the $206 that I had spent five months prior, five months prior, mm -hmm. I bought the watch on July 26th. I sent it in for repair on October 31st. That's the amount of time that I had it. And I spent, I mean, for me, $265 is a lot of money. Again, I live on 800 something a month. That's it. So that was like a big dent in my finances and I was quite depressed. Like I tried, you know, tried my best and it was nothing that I had done wrong. And then I just didn't know where to go. And um, going to the mall is very hard. Going to the mall is something that's very, very difficult for someone that's agoraphobic and that has a um, fear of crowds. I actually purposely stopped by the fossil store to talk to the manager to let her know that what she did amazingly was was just a godsend and that I was going to mention the fact that the fossil group Canada is great but to try to reach them is almost impossible so when I went into the store that day I asked to speak to the manager and um that was the first time I got recognized from being on no holds barred and then I was like ah because again I don't want to be famous but we all like I talked about all that in another video about the fact that um my dad is kind of famous and known, and, and I don't want to do that. But it comes with the territory, so I'm putting my face out there. I'm going to have to learn to accept it. But another point. The point is, is that she completely, she was like, you know, we have nothing to do with Michael Kors. She was the nicest, kindest person. Um, she kept repeating, you know, we have nothing to do with Michael Kors, but with the fossil group. And I was just trying to explain to her, like, I know, but I'm dealing with the fossil group. And I don't get it. Like, why is it? So we had a chat for about 20 minutes and she was quite frustrated for me, you know, because she's a great manager. I think she might even deserve like a pay raise. She did a good job. All right. Because she, she single handedly changed this whole thing to being the worst experience of my life ever in life and 36 years too. It was a really bad experience, but it's life and you learn from it. And that's a very, very big difference in the world of like customer service experiences, or at least in my world anyway. She gave me a card. She's like, this is the number for, I mean, Fossil Canada, I guess. And she also put in a call to her district manager. Now her district manager did not call me back because she did ask when I, I went to see her that, but it didn't matter, it didn't have to. That was on a Saturday. And by the time I got home, I was too tired to deal with it. So I waited on the Sunday for them, you know, to open. And it, I mean, there's a three hour difference time wise. So I called and, you know, talked to this very kind girl. 
And she was so helpful. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're so nice. And she kept saying, you know, we're going to help you. And then she said something about, we're going to make sure you get that watch of your dreams. And I thought maybe that it was just like a script thing that they had to say because, you know, theirs are considered luxury watches, right? And at one point in time, I was talking about, like, you know, I know I'm talking to the fossil group. And the girl goes, sweetheart, we're Michael Kors fossil group. We're all one and the same. And then I'm thinking, what? I've been, where have you been for the past two weeks, you little angel? Like, where have you been? And then she tells me that she's put me, you know, on hold and she'll call me back and, you know, when she got everything done and I'm like, no, oh, don't hang up. You know, I finally got someone to help me. She gave me her name and I'll tell you now, her name is Monts and she was in Texas. Um, very kind, wonderful girl. She did call me back within like 30 minutes and then she goes, well, the model that, you know, you, you want to replace it with, she's like, that's a brand new one. So I'm going to have to wait until like things open tomorrow on Monday. To, to let you know, you know, because the new ones aren't in stock. And I'm thinking, what? Because this is the total opposite of what I've been hearing for the past two weeks. So I run to my room, open the computer, and then I give her the code for this one. I'm like, is this one available? And she says, oh, that's the one that you had before. And I'm like, yeah. And she says, well, do you just want like, to exchange it? Um, y yeah, that's kind of what I've wanted from the get-go. Like, that's what I wanted the first two weeks ago that I talked to someone where they told me that wasn't an option and I couldn't get it. So I was so baffled and confused that I just kind of went, uh, yeah. And she's like, okay, it's done. We'll send it out. And I'm like, how much is that going to cost? She's nothing. It's the warranty. We're replacing it. And I went, oh, okay, thanks. And then I decided, you know, I needed to tell her supervisor that she did an amazing job at helping and doing her job as it should have been done because if I would have gotten her the first time this experience would be this was the best customer service experience of my life because it started off great but when I talked to the American fossil group it went to the pfft. but then when I talked to the Canadian fossil group that were also in Texas it was perfect so that's what I'm saying American Canadian I don't want to deal with America ever again and I know what it's like to, you know, how like the kudos call when they talk to your supervisor and she deserved it. She single-handedly like gave me exactly what I wanted and phew, to the point that about four hours later, I actually questioned my sanity. I wasn't too sure it had happened because I've been fighting for the past two weeks for this exact thing that she went, oh, yeah, yeah, like it sounded like she was under the impression that I had turned that first option down and wanted an upgrade. No, that's not what, it was so complicated. So in the end, they sent me a refurbished one, whatever. I'm not gonna complain, because it works. It works. I really, at this point, I've fought too much with them. I don't give up. And I did look at it when I opened it up and whatnot. So in about two minutes, you'll see that end part, because I did film a little bit of that, just to make sure that I was, you know, going to have something that worked. Um, it ends up that it does. So, I'm going to give up my shout-outs to the two people that made this possible. Because without those two people, I would... I would have lost my mind. Because I would not have this watch. I would have had to buy an upgrade, a higher one, and I would be out more money than... So, one shout-out to the manager at the Fossil Store at the... CF Champlain Mall here in Moncton, New Brunswick, or Diet, New Brunswick, whichever one that it falls under, whatever. The Fossil Group, if you're out there watching, because you should be, because I got my networking stuff going that you should be able to see this video. Give that lady a raise, okay? Give her a raise. This, you know, I'm talking of the Michael Kors warranty. She's Fossil Group. She still helps me out anyway. Give her a raise. And that Mons lady that is out of Texas that I dealt with, Amazing. Again, I did let her supervisor know how great she was and how she was helpful. Again, publicly saying she was amazing. Give her a raise as well. When it came in the mail, this is what I went through to make sure that it was legit, that it was the right one, that it would work. All right, so I don't know how much I have explained it yet because in sequence of time, this is the first video. So I'm going to do the full opening with you guys. And I'm gonna, I have the box from my first watch just as 
a reference to see what is in here. This is that. All right. So there is a package slip here that says I don't owe any money, even though I got a paper that says I do. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Mm -hmm. See this? So yes, I'm not trying to put anybody in a bad light or anything. I'm just giving out my personal last three weeks of hell. Or four weeks. Oh, I don't know how long it is. It has been horrible. Horrible. So if you look at them, they're the same one, um, obviously. I don't think I have to really question too, too much. So This is a, a good sign that it's snug. Um, I think the box and the packaging itself is brand new. It doesn't have that many dings. If you can see, a, like, my box has some dings and stuff like that um, from moving. Um, it does have some markings here. That this was a display watch. And that was the original price. Oh, I can't go back. So, it comes in here as it should. So, it's snug in there. This is all things you should look for. Again, I made a video when I got the first one explaining all the things to look for. And um, I'll just explain them again now. In case you ever happen to buy a luxury watch. Which you should not, because they are all made by the Fossil Group. And the Fossil Group are jerks. And, um, no. Alright, we have it out. So, the watch is out. It is, um, the exact one like I had before. However, it doesn't have any of this. Oh, it does have the stickers. Oh, it does. Let's, let's take a look. Um, so there's no sticker here. My original one had a sticker over that one, of course. But this one doesn't. It still has a plastic here, though. It's starting my sticker. These, these plastics. These plastic things. Protectors. Um, so when, again, I got the first... So there's still some on under here. There's another one back here. Some of the protective backings have been taken off. Um, so if you look under here... I don't doubt that this is a genuine watch. I'm just showing them for the people out there who um, may be buying one and wondering what a genuine watch looks like. Um... So it has all my cores written in there. And just because I'm a nerd um, and I can read electronic things, these are not North American electronic um, things, which is kind of funny. I looked at them and I can't tell straight off where they're from. They're just total international signs, which leads me to believe that they are European. Um, they don't look Korean or anything like that. I think they're just European because the European nation has, um, their own, but it's, again, the European nations. It's all the countries that are included in that. Um, so. All right. So it is on the floor. I did to move it onto the floor to get it charged. The charger cord is not that long. Um, that's okay. If you look over there, you can most probably see the red little red light. That means it's charging. Um, it was totally blacked out when I first got it, and it says tab here to begin. So I'm currently trying to cook some supper, and it's also um, True Blood, and it's the episode, um, The Hamburger with AIDS. That is, in my opinion, one of the best written scenes I've ever seen. And unfortunately, it's still just as culturally relevant today as it was then. And I think it's still going to be just as relevant in years to come. I don't think we're ever going to get rid of, um, scan to something I have here. I don't think we're ever going to get rid of racism and, and bigotry and all that whatnot. Because it comes from fear. It comes from fear of the unknown. And, um, right now the powers that be are not doing anything much to help that fear dissipate. So let's set up while I hopefully don't burn my supper. All right, so tap to begin, like it says, and start set up on my phone. I agree. You have no choice but to agree with the terms of services, whether you like it or not. Um, so 
Oh, and I changed my language. English, United States. I have, so, okay, so you can see here that I have a Bradshaw connected. So that's what I want to connect to because that's my watch. So they are now connecting. So it tells me here that my phone is now connecting. And I have to make sure that it is the same number. It is. Oh, he's about to tell them where to go. I gotta go watch that. It's connected anyway. It's gonna start downloading stuff. I check on my supper. I gotta watch the best scene in the world ever. Continue set up on phone. So I'm gonna go to my phone. Um, I don't think you need to see all my. So you choose which account you want. All right. So now it's asking me if I want to give it permission to do stuff. So allow to your contacts. Allow to everything. Yes, I mean, that's what I wanted to do, so I use it for all those things because it talks to me, helps and stuff, so yes, I want to give it access. Um, again, you don't have to give it access if you don't want it to do that. It, it, it doesn't have to. Um, so this asks me what I want to have notifications from. What I really only need is the Whereby OS to be enabled because everything works through Whereby OS. Even though I have downloaded um, the Michael Kors Access, it, the Michael Kors Access actually does nothing. It needs to be in the background, however, for you to, um, for the Wear OS kind of talks to it for mostly just the backgrounds on the phone, like the watch faces and stuff. Other than that, you do everything to Android Wear. Um, you can then later on sync uh, Google Fit to it, which I do, and then... I can set my goals and my steps. And, um, all right. So, everything so far good. It just has the, oh, there's a tutorial that I want, it wants me to go through a tutorial. Okay. So now it's charging, so it's not very charged. It's only up to here, so I'll leave it alone. But if you look through here, these are all the watch faces. Um, yeah, right now I only have two or more. Wait, more, okay. And, um, this is where the last time it, it messed up, this is what messed up my phone in the first place, was this Wear OS got an update. And I can see that it's different now than it was then. It got an update, I got more watch faces and all that kind of whatnot, and uh, different things as well, and that, for some people, ruined the part, you know, the CPU, the rent, the processing part of the watch. Some people it did not. Uh, my brother-in-law, for example, it just messages his messages. Every time he gets any kind of text message or any kind of message, it gives him the notification about 16 times. So I can see that it's at 13%. So I'm going to let it keep charging. But to quickly show what it can do, um, so we're going to pick this as a watch face. And... Uh, if we touch this, it should show up there. Or maybe it's just too much charging. I don't know. Whoa, it's hot. All right, there you go. So this is the watch face that I had picked. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm not going to play with it too much because it's pretty warm. It's, it's charging. So you can go into the advanced settings and notifications. Set that all up the way I want. And because uh, you do everything from here. And then there's a few things you might have done later, but it doesn't have battery to do that. So far, it's okay. I'm still not happy that it's a refurbish, but if it still works at this point, I don't care because I'm never buying anything from them ever again. The app on my phone says it's at 38%, so it might be all right. And let's, so let's see if we can set certain things up. It's going to let me... Oh. Here are things you can try. Stay in touch. Okay, that's cool. It gives you tutorials all the time. Speak now. I don't want to talk to it. If you hold the crown button too long, it brings some Google assistance. Which is fine. I just want to go to fit. So you can track, you know. Me just walking around and so alright, I'm gonna set our goals. I don't bike ride. Yes, I want. I don't take ten thousand steps a day. Um, no. 
edit goal. We're gonna go to um, 8,000. That's a little bit better. That That's more achievable. Some days I don't really go that far. So I'm setting this up by the way. Alright, that works weird. Let's see. This is where you keep all your watch faces. So you do need the access app for your looks and then they get all stared in here. You get to change them around. Black. Mm. Go with that one. And my hand color. I can only pink between a few. So I'm going to stay with gold. And then my crystal color, I want them to be champagne color. Save the look. Play it now. And it's changed. You can change them all like that. So, Oh yes! It's already set big for me to see. Oh, perfect. It must know. Okay, so I can set all my alarms. I already have them set on my phone. You know, take medication in the afternoon. And you can set as many alarms as you want. So I'm going to set a little bit of this up. I think for tonight that's going to be it, and we'll recap a little bit tomorrow during the day to see if it acts fine. I think I'm going to wear it for about a good five days before I actually start filming the video of the entire dilemma. Alright, so it works. It does now. And it took me a while to figure out because there's still some bugs with the issue. And here is where, um, as an electronics engineer, I'm going to give you my tips that I've learned in case you happen to be in the same position that I am in or that my brother-in-law is in because I gave him the same thing. So when it comes to, if you just have the problem like my brother-in-law where your messages come in like 16 or 20 times every time you get one, that, it's not on the watch. Go into your actual settings in your phone when it comes to notifications. So you're going to have to go into the settings. If you have questions on exactly what things to like go to because each, you know, I mean if you have a different kind of phone like an iPhone, a Samsung and, or whatever, they're all in different spots, feel free to send me a message and I will let you know which steps to go to in order to fix those notifications. And it's not like 100% perfect but it's way better. So every time that I open Messenger from like you know Facebook Messenger, it'll you know, give me a message to say that it's open. And when I close, it'll tell me that it's closed, and it'll let me know when I have a message. That's better than every single time any kind of message comes through, whether it's a text or a messenger or whatever. That it just buzz, 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 buzz. Like that's what it would do, and that's what it's doing to my brother-in-law. So if you happen to be in that thing, you go to the settings in your phone itself, not in the Wear OS. Not in, you know, your app that goes for the whatever. It's in your actual phone settings. Again, if you want to know the details for your particular phone, send me a message. I'll tell you what the steps are and you can get that done with. The second one is that the problem was kind of starting to occur again. The watch just kept downloading the same update and updating itself all the time. It did that for like two days in a row. And then I was like, oh, damn you. And... Sometimes my brain thinks. Every once in a while my brain thinks. Every once in a while, alright? And it did that day. When it comes to the functionality of the watch for me to get my messages, for the phone to be able to speak to the watch, you know, and count my steps, to help me with my fall app, to help me with my calories so that I can keep living my healthy lifestyle so I can know, you know, I've had my move points and all that kind of whatnot because the Google Fit is great. It also has like a map and a reminder, all those things. For all of that to work, you need a Bluetooth connection to your phone. That's all you need. So I turned off the Wi-Fi on the watch. If there's no Wi-Fi, it can't give itself a download. Problem solved. That freaking easy. Turn off the Wi-Fi on the watch. The watch still works perfectly fine because it'll connect through Bluetooth or the phone. And if there ever comes in the future that there's another huge update to be done, you get the notifications through your phone because you have a Wear OS. It'll tell you there was a new update. 
Then I'll open up the Wi-Fi on my watch. We'll download the new update. And I'm going to close the Wi-Fi again. That is the simple cure. Simple answer is once you have your smartwatch updated, because any smartwatch that is, you know, fossil or Android based uses the Wear OS. And it may be possible that you keep getting the same update all the time. Just turn the Wi-Fi off and the rest of the watch will work perfectly fine. I've had it working great for about four days now since I've, you know, figured out to turn off the Wi-Fi. I've had no problems. I'm playing around with it. It's working just as great as it was before everything kind of... So I'm happy with the results now. The experience was actually a little traumatic. It was complicated. But again, those two last people, they saved the day. Do I recommend anybody out there to buy a smartwatch from Michael Kors? No. If you want to have a luxury smartwatch, um, I actually saw someone last night, a very nice lady that I sat next to in my 13 hours of ER waiting for my leg. Um, she had a very nice Garmin brand new, you know, fancy looking, you know, doesn't look sporty, you know, kind of watch. That was nice. I mean, the price is probably up there. But anybody else out there, if you do want a, a luxury smartwatch or something that's girly, pretty looking, just go with Fossil. Go to the Fossil store, get it from Fossil. You'll have, you know, the warranty from Fossil because it's different than the one from Michael Kors. And you'll have, you know, the, be able to speak to a manager if something goes wrong, someone in your, your company. But any other smartwatch out there that's a luxury smartwatch, they are all made by Fossil and whatever the heck warranty or whatever the heck they say they have, it's not worth it. Don't buy a smartwatch from Michael Kors or any other company other than Fossil. Fossil themselves make great watches. They make very pretty watches. They have their Gen Q. I think they're like at four now or something like that. Perfect. They're up there in price. But the fact that when you deal with Fossil itself because it's a Fossil watch, I'm imagining that it's way smoother. It's then worth the money. But all the other luxury watches that are all made by Fossil underneath, they're not worth it. Because the headache that you're going to go through to try to get anything done if anything ever happens to it, even though it's under warranty, it's not worth the money you're paying for it. It's not worth the money at all. Knowing what I now know through these last two weeks, if I could go back in time to July 26th, which was six months ago, I would not buy this watch. Nope. I would have saved my money and I would have looked into maybe like a Fitbit or something like that and uh, foregone the whole something pretty on my arm. I dealt with it. We're stuck with it. We're there. Um... I'm happy now, but it wasn't worth it. It was horrible, bad experience. I'm still going to keep using it because, again, I have now figured it out. And if any of you out there are having any kind of difficulties with the warranty, with the false group, with any kind of smartwatch, send me a message. I might actually have, you know, a way of helping you out. Again, I actually know. I know. I don't look like the type of person that used to fix ATMs for a living and take them all apart. And yes, I had nails and rings and I wore makeup and um, that's kind of why I'm not working there anymore because the older, old school guys thought that girls shouldn't be engineers. But that's a whole other story for another day. But in the end, I do not recommend Michael Kors at all for anything. It was horrible. With all that said, I welcome you all into 2019. I hope that you come back. You can subscribe if you want. If you don't want to, if you want to keep coming back and visiting and not subscribing, that's okay too. Those analytics, they all get seen. It's cool. I understand the new YouTube and Instagram algorithms. So that's why I'm saying you don't have to probably like my stuff. I have it all linked up. They know. Because again, no Holds Barred is doing well enough that um, a little bit of extra money that I used to get for my part-time job, I get from doing this. And um, if you look at my subscribers' numbers, they ain't that high. But I do know that there's a lot more of you that come back and visit every single time. So I thank every single one of you for making 2018 a success. We're going to move on to 2019. If you get any suggestions for anything, again, throw them my way. If you have any questions about anything that has to do with what I've just said, with your watch, if you have one or you have questions, should I buy from here, should I buy from there, is it legit? Those kinds of things, again, send me a message. I'll 
look it up I'll uh, let you know if it is or I'll let you know how to find it yourself if you want to do the research so yes thank you very much for making 2018 successful I'm very confident that 2019 will be as successful if not better I'm working hard on that even though my leg hurts so hardcore um, I'm glad this is like kind of done so I can go put some ice and take some meds and uh, whoo but thanks and again feedback is welcome subscribing would be cool if you don't don't worry about it also check the Facebook page there is a lot more stuff going on on the Facebook page YouTube this is kind of just where I hold all my videos the discussions and the questions and the other things they're all happening on the Facebook page and somehow my Instagram became um, a standalone Instagram that's doing extremely extremely well so thanks to all of you for that as well um, I'm still waiting for the verification thing to happen um, they offered it to me so I'm assuming it hopefully Vera has been verified so we're working on that stuff um, you can maybe find me on Vero if you do um, that's kind of neat and cool but just be known it's um a little bit not so child friendly account whatever I openly talk about the fact that um queer as fuck and I don't give a shit but with that thanks for coming wish you the best 2019 and thanks